This particular project, Music in Prisons, um, began in 1995 and it was in a direct response to work that I'd been doing in the education department of a prison in London. And I'd worked there for 11 years before um, I started this organisation uh, and I'd seen firsthand that the effect that music can have on, uh, on people's well-being and people's, people's feelings. So I worked with big groups of um, guys in Wormwood Scrubs prison and we used to create all kinds of music, we used to create all kinds of arts projects and um, through working with these men, through quite a bit of their sentence, um, I got to know that music was extremely important to them and actually uh, made them feel really good about themselves. So in 1995 when I left that prison I was asked to start up uh, Music in Prisons and now we don't just work in one prison, we work in prisons across the country. Some of the main impacts we see from people who take part in any musical activities are not just the musical things that they learn. So whilst we teach people guitar, we teach people to play the keyboard, and we teach people a number of other instruments, and we teach them also how to write songs, um, one of the main things aside from the music is seeing how people personally grow. So we see their confidence increase, and we see their self-esteem increase. We see people who are now able to integrate into groups and have fun working in groups, which makes prisons actually a much better place to be for both staff and prisoners when prisoners are occupied doing something that they really feel within them, within their hearts. I'm street dreaming, thinking about my boys and my hood chicks, I wonder how they do when I still miss them. When we advertise our projects, uh, we, we say to people, all you need to do is to love music. You don't need to play any instruments, but we just want you to come with an open mind and we want you to learn along with us. So people, when they're given that kind of trust, I think they feel that it's going to be something quite exciting. And because they love music, they're eager to have a go on the drums or they're eager to have a go at singing their own song. So whilst musical skills um, are sometimes useful, they're absolutely not necessary on the project because our project leaders will teach them all they need to know in the group situation as we progress. I love to reminisce about back in the day. Street dreams are made of ease, thoughts of the past. Every project is a highlight, I have to say, because you see transformations in people and you see people grow into doing the project. So you see people who carry themselves differently, they walk differently, they talk to you differently, and they just feel very proud of their achievements. At the end of every project, we, we like to do performances because we believe that what's been learnt during the process is really, really important. Um, but having a performance to show people at the end is equally important because at that point you get recognition for what you've done and you also get praise from people who, who maybe thought you couldn't do something like that. So it's a very important part to be able to perform to receive praise for what you've done. I'm street dreaming, thinking about my boys and my hood chicks, I wonder how they do. My name is Sarah, I'm the Artistic Director of the organisation uh, the Irene Taylor Trust under which um, umbrella comes music in prisons and I do this work because I love people and I love music and it's an ideal way to combine both. Street dreams, street dreams, street dreams.